As historic grudges go, the weight of the one these two leaders carry is epic, a thousand years running. The very idea of a meeting between the head of the Roman Catholic Church and the Russian Patriarch wasn't even seriously considered until 50 years ago. The effort to make it so worked on for a quarter of a century. And so today, as Pope Francis reportedly said, finally. The most warmth in a millennia. Pope Francis, Russian Orthodox Patriarch Kirill in a Havana airport lounge. For these two, for their two Christian denominations, Cuba now is the most neutral of soils. Both on their way somewhere else, stepped behind closed doors for a two-hour talk. Their faithful saw it as history and breaking news. Standing by. In the Toronto Salt and Light Studios, the English spokesman of the Holy See following every camera flash. They're going to sign a mutual agreement. We have not seen it yet because they worked on it until yesterday afternoon. Religious leaders talking of peace now because of violence. Horrors like the beheading of 25 Christians in Libya last year pushed them to craft their joint statement, which read, in part, in many countries of the Middle East and North Africa, whole families, villages, and cities of our brothers and sisters in Christ are being completely exterminated. So deal with the differences within the church and find some unity. ISIS doesn't ask for a Christian's denomination before killing one, so why not stand together? It was an open discussion, maintained the Russian patriarch, and that is what their followers wanted to hear. But remember, there are other strategies at work. Russian President Vladimir Putin gave this historic meeting his blessing. Maybe he needs an image win. Maybe it's a chance for more global influence. We know that in recent history, the community of Russia, Russians, and the government of Russia has run into some difficulties. This is not positively viewed. For example, their support of, of Assad, their support of everything taking place in Syria, the shooting down of a plane recently, um, all kinds of actions. So it's really put the Russians in a bad light. You cannot detach politics from this process, so some will continue to be leery. But for a thousand-year schism, a day like this is still a treasure. Adrian Arsenault, CBC News, Toronto.